Wilfred Thesiger. Sir Wilfred Patrick Thesiger KBE, DSO, FROS, FRSL, FRGS, June 3, 1910, August 24, 2003, also known by his Arabic name Mubarak bin London, Arabic, the Blessed One of London, was a British military officer, explorer, and writer. Thesiger's travel books include Arabian Sands, 1959, On His Foot and Camel Crossing of the Empty Quarter of the Arabian Peninsula, and The Marsh Arabs, 1964, On His Time Living in the Marshes of Iraq with the Marsh Arabs. He donated his collection of 38,000 travel photographs to the Pitt Rivers Museum, Oxford. Early Life Thesiger was born in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. He was the son of Wilfred Gilbert Thesiger, a British Consul General and Minister to Addis Ababa from 1909 to 1919, and his wife Kathleen Mary Vigors. Thesiger's grandfather was Frederick Lord Chelmsford. Frederick Viscount Chelmsford, future Viceroy of India, was an uncle, and the actor Ernest Thesiger was a cousin. Education Thesiger was educated at St. Albans School in Rottingdean, Sussex, followed by Eton College and then Magdalen College, Oxford, where he took a third in history. Between 1930 and 1933, Thesiger represented Oxford at boxing and later, in 1933, became captain of the Oxford boxing team. He was awarded a boxing blue for each of the four years that he was at Oxford. Whilst at Oxford, Thesiger was also elected treasurer of the Oxford University Exploration Club, 1931-32. Career in 1930 Thesiger returned to Africa, having received a personal invitation from Emperor Haile Selassie to attend his coronation. He returned again in 1933 as the leader of an expedition, funded in part by the Royal Geographical Society, to explore the course of the Awash River. During this expedition, he became one of the first Europeans to enter the Asa Sultanate and visit Lake Abay. Between 1935 and 1940, Thesiger served with the Sudan Political Service stationed in Darfur and the Upper Nile. Second World War At the outbreak of war, Thesiger joined the Sudan Defense Force, helping to organize the Abyssinian resistance to the occupying Italians. He was awarded the DSO for capturing Ajabar and its garrison of 2,500 Italian soldiers. He later served with the Special Operations Executive in Syria and the Special Air Service during the North African Campaign, attaining the rank of Major. From 1943 to 1945 he acted as political advisor to Crown Prince Oscar Wosan of Ethiopia. Travels After the Second World War, Thesiger traveled across Arabia, lived for some years in the marshes of Iraq, and then traveled in Iran, Kurdistan, French West Africa, and Pakistan. He lived for many years in northern Kenya. He is remembered for his Arabian expeditions. In 1945, an entomologist, Obilin, acting on behalf of the Middle East Anti-Locust Unit, Milu, hired Thesiger to search for locust breeding grounds in southern Arabia. This led to two crossings of the Great Arabian Desert, the Rub al khali or Empty Quarter, and travels in Inner Oman. He rode camels in the company of Beda guides through remote areas that were potentially dangerous on account of tribal tensions and the opposition of local rulers to the presence of foreigners. Desiger's first crossing began in October 1946 when, with his Bedouin companions, he left Salalah in the Dafar province of Oman and traveled to the Mufshin oasis. From there, he entered the sands but there was dissent among his party, some of whom were unwilling to travel any farther. Thesiger continued with four members, two from the Rashid and two from the Beit Kathir tribes. He reached the Lua oasis in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi in mid-December, visited the town of Abu Dhabi, then crossed into Oman, heading back towards Salalah via Dafar and ending his journey at Salalah on February 23, 1947. His second crossing began in December 1947, at Manwak Well in Yemen. The king of Saudi Arabia did not agree to Thesiger entering his territory, and imprisoned Thesiger and his party when they arrived at Salal. Soon released, they traveled to the Lawa oasis and then to Abu Dhabi town, arriving on March 14, 1948. In April, Thesiger visited the Barami oasis, for which the Iraq Petroleum Company IPC, held an oil concession, which it operated through an associate company, Petroleum Development Oman. Dick Bird, the company's representative, was concerned by Thesiger's attitude towards oil exploration. Thesiger disapproved of the company's activities, believing that the discovery of oil would destroy the Bedouin way of life. 
However, the need to finance his expeditions led the explorer to accept funding from the oil company in exchange for providing information garnered from his travels. Desiger returned to England in the 1990s and was knighted in 1995. He is known for two travel books, Arabian Sands, 1959, which recounts his travels in the empty quarter of Arabia between 1945 and 1950 and describes the vanishing way of life of the Bedou, and the Marsh Arabs, 1964, which is an account of the Madan, the indigenous people of the marshlands of southern Iraq. The latter journey is also covered by his traveling companion, Gavin Maxwell, in A Reed Shaken by the Wind, A Journey Through the Unexplored Marshlands of Iraq, Longman, 1957, new edition by Eland in 2003. Desiger took many photographs during his travels and donated his vast collection of 38,000 negatives to the Pitt Rivers Museum, Oxford. Awards Books Reputation Desiger's reputation in England was built on his travels, writings and military service. Those who met him found him traditional and old-fashioned. Among the Arabian people, his reputation was based on their personal knowledge of him as an adventurer. Salim bin Gabaisha described him, 50 years after their travels together, as loyal, generous, and afraid of nothing. In popular culture In the film version of Gavin Maxwell's Ring of Bright Water, Bill Travers uses a copy of Thesiger's The Marsh Arabs to covertly spy on his soon-to-be close companion, Mehul the Otter. In 2008, Majid Abdul Razak, a film director from the United Arab Emirates, produced a film version of Arabian Sands which was self-funded and employed actors from the UAE and Oman in most of the major roles. A documentary about Sir Wilfred was made by producer Leigh Guthman in 1999, A Life of My Choice. In Eric Newby's A Short Walk in the Hindu Kush, the closing pages recount Newby and his companion meeting Thesiger. Newby was suffering from dysentery, extreme fatigue and other ailments. The final sentence of the book is of Thesiger's watching them inflate their airbeds saying God, you must be a couple of pansies. Beds saying God, you must be a